Hello and welcome back. Today I'm doing a little tour of my new writing desk. I have wanted a dedicated desk for my writing supplies for some time now. If you've seen my other videos, you will notice I am usually filming in front of a keyboard and monitor in my home office. Now I have this, a G-Plan Fresco desk, also sometimes known as the floating desk because of how the top is separated from the drawers. It was designed by Victor Wilkins in the mid-1960s. I have wanted this exact desk for the better part of a decade now, and I couldn't be happier with it. This one is in immaculate condition, being shipped from the UK and having some minor restoration done here. I've only had the desk a couple of days now, so I will slowly find the best way of storing my stationery. So far in the top right drawer, I keep most of my pen pal related items, from envelopes, sticky tape, the only two types of paper I use, this being Rhodia notepads and Tomoe River 52 GSM. You also find stamps in this drawer. Moving down, we have a drawer for my return address stickers, as well as some stickers of my own red bubble designs, which I often include in letters. Check them out from the link in the description. The box contains my wax seal stamps and wood block stamps with my initials. On the left, the top drawer has some postcards from my Redbubble page, as well as some postcards featuring author quotes, otherwise just some backup writing supplies. The bottom drawer is where I will store my ink, both bottles and samples. I haven't got the biggest range compared to some people, but it is slowly getting there. My favourite ink at the moment is Monteverde California Teal. Lovely colour and shading. Finally we have my favourite part of the desk, which is the somewhat hidden pull-out drawer in the centre. Lined with purple velvet, I will keep my pens in here. The first part is shallow, but at the back it extends, with more space for my address book and more pens. On top of the desk I will keep my Galen Leather Writer's Box, an everyday pen, this being the Lamy Studio, which is also my favourite pen at the moment, very underrated and I'd highly recommend it. A lamp of course, and some backup ballpoints, these being Retro 51 Tornadoes for others to use. The chair is a vintage Herman Miller Eames Aluminium Group chair, which complements the desk's mid-century look. Final touches include a bust and framed picture of my favourite philosopher, Nietzsche to complete my writing area. Is there anything I am missing or should include? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise thanks for watching and goodbye.